Hello guys, my name is Ismos and today I want to show you how to use the quick decals add-on for Blender. So I have this scene here, it's a simple train station scene. And I wanted to add uh, some uh, damage uh, to, the, uh, to the textures here without going in and tweak every single texture, but just using quick decals. So you can also use this to add posters or damaged posters. Uh, for example, what I'm going to show you here. If I wanted to say add poster here and give it a bit of damage, I can go to the quick decals add-on, then under here, choose any text that you want, move your cursor to where you want to add it. Add it, I'm just going to rotate this to face uh, the wall. Place it there. So you can see that it's a bit plain and looks too new for this scene. If I collapse this for a second, I can go to the material settings. I'm just going to use an alpha mask uh, to cut some pieces off. And the add-on also has a create alpha channel if the image you have loaded in doesn't have an alpha channel. Uh, so if you use create alpha channel, it will use uh, the contrast of the image uh, to create an alpha mask and uh, you can even invert that. But, uh, this is not the feature I want to show you. What I want to show you is custom uh, alpha. You can load in a new image, say this image here. Uh, our mask and uh, I can use custom alpha mask see that uh, is starting to create a mask of our image but uh, the contrast is a bit low so I can play with the contrast and brightness yeah something like that you can see what we have we have a damaged and it blends in very well very nicely with the wall you can even control the position of your damage and uh, all these values are unmated are unmatable so if you want to unmate them you can easily add keyframes to them a bit scale it up down a bit you can see what we have there and we can even play with this to see how it looked before and how it looks now and uh, you can still change uh, the image to something else so let's find uh, you can see we still get that I just have to play with the contrast again to see how this would come up so you can see you can switch between different images you also have a custom roughness you can also use uh, this change uh, the roughness a bit so I'll just go to my grunge maps and add some custom roughness use custom roughness and you can see can play with the contrast so something like that and if I want to add damage uh, to this I can also just go into the alpha and use the alpha mask just play with the contrast a bit until you get what you want a high contrast image let's get this uh, make sure I use alpha is set to one and I have to play with the contrast here if I s isolate this for a second and you can see we have that and uh, don't forget you can still scale up uh, this say we want uh, the decal to be wrapped on this surface we can create a new decal uh, this time let's see let's just get this apply it to that scale it down we want it to wrap around this surface so all you have to do is uh, let's go to the decal shrink wrap add shrink wrap then select the object you want this to wrap again is all you have to do if we go to the local coordinates we can push this in and you see that uh, the decal is starting to wrap around uh, the surface uh, the issue is that this is going inside instead of outside so you can use the offset to bring this out just a bit now you just have to play with the offset until the surface touches the object. Now this looks too clean uh, for this so you can add a custom roughness uh, to break up the roughness. Some grind map you can see it gives it that nice roughness but uh, we can also add somewhere by using a custom alpha channel. If you go to the material settings and use uh, the create alpha channel you can see it will just use the contrast of the image uh, to create the alpha channel but sometimes this is enough to create good results but uh, for this case uh, it's not going to give us what we want that's why we use uh, the custom alpha channel here so i'm just going to go in and then use find anything here that uh, could give me some amazing detail you can even use any texture say something like this play with that and you can see it can also give us some nice results though this in this case it's not exactly what you would use you could use uh let's try a texture with uh, some high frequency details or with just any details so let's could use something like this and you can see it's enough uh, to give me uh, the detail I want and uh, it blends the texture nicely into uh, the surface and I can still go into the material settings play with the roughness uh, but uh, the roughness right now is being overridden by the roughness we used here so I can come in here and maybe make it a bit rough you can also you also have some bump details if you want to have that in and then you have your surface so you're not just limited to decals like this you can also just use you can change uh, the decal to something else say a surface detail like this and maybe we can assume that uh, uh, this surface or this object has worn out a bit so it's going to scale it this detail down a bit I can add I can create a new decal maybe you can even just use this decal here you can see you can create some nice detail and uh, remember you can still change the materials so if I give this a factor of one, 
so that we can make it seem like it's moss. And we can also use the bump detail to make dark like that.